Hey guys, it's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to week three of the Pokemon Premier League Division 1 Season 3. I'm getting there. Anyway, this week we are playing the Baltimore Braviaries, managed by Under the Radar, also known as Kelly. He's a great battler, make sure you go check out his channel. Obviously, links are in the description. Make sure you go and check out his side of the battle as well, because we both like to make plays, you know, so. If you, if you want to understand what he's done, for example, if you want to know what his team's all about, make sure you go check out his team builder and his battle video. I don't know when they'll be uploaded, but I will link whatever I can in the description below. You can see the teams on the screen. However, if you want to see my team in more uh, depth, make sure you go check out my team builder. Um, pretty spooky looking stuff on Kelly's side. Some things I wasn't expecting, but let's see how I managed to deal with him. Alright, so this week I am leading off with Zorok. Yes, I do manage to trick Kelly. Turn 1 into thinking this is Nidoking. Managed to get a knockoff off, which is always useful. And I was so happy when this thing came in and took the knockoff. I was so scared of this thing being Scar. Life Orb, it's also pretty spooky. But I do manage to do half the damage to uh, this Flygon already, which is fantastic. Um, I am going to switch out into Flawgis, because Flawgis is the safest thing I have. The most this thing can do to me um, is about 45% with Earthquake. Uh, and even then, that's max attack jolly, so I don't know what kind of set he is yet. Uh, with Life Orb, maybe I'm expecting a bit more of a mixed set at this point. Uh, I decided to go for a Wish here, just so I can scout out and see what he wants to do. Could have clicked Protect, but you know, Wish is always nice. Uh, it means I can always Wish Pass if I fancy switching out next turn. But, as you can see, Kelly brings in Togetic, and this is the start of many paralysis. Um, he gets the Body Slam Paralysis there. The Wish... Uh, I can't remember if this happened already or not. But Kelly makes the switch into Miltank, so automatically I've put Kelly into a, a situation where he's being forced to switch a lot, which is good. Especially when I have Pokemon that can keep momentum up, like Heliolisk. Looking at the team previews, Heliolisk is going to be a massive player in this match. Um, so if I can play him well, like I did last season, this will be a good game. Um, but I decide to Volt Switch out. I'm not car uh, carrying Focus Blast. Um, at this point though, I don't know, but it is in fact a Choppleberry Miltank, so Focus Blast wouldn't have even been such a good decision uh, for me to go for in the end. Uh, he does set up his rocks though, free turn. Uh, still doesn't know if this is King or not. I go for the Night Days, and it doesn't quite grab the KOs, because this is a specially defensive Miltank. Um, he does go for the Body Slam, it does do about half damage to me, and of course Kelly gets another Paralysis from a Body Slam. This time not Serene Grace boosted, so... Uh, I'm not too upset because I do have a Cleric in uh, Flawgis, and I do need to keep Zorok around because I would like to knock off that Togetic given the chance. So I would like to heal off uh, this Paralysis. Now, because I am physically uh, defensive on my Flawgis, I know I can take Body Slams for days. However, I anticipated him to go for a Milk Drink here, um, and it was a free switch into Flawgis. And Flawgis, looking at his team matchup, is a huge threat to his team uh, in the fact that he might struggle in taking it down. Here he decides to stay in and just continuously body slam for the next few turns. Um, I don't know if he was expecting me to heal bell, he probably was, but he's probably staying in body slamming just to try and get the paralysis back on me again. Um, but I do manage to get paralysis off my Zorok, which is nice considering Zorok is my choice scarfer this week. Um, but now I'm at, the, uh, I'm at the point of health where I'd like to go for another wish. Hopefully I don't get paralysed again, um, but I do go for the wish here. I want to get up to as much health as I can. Now, I know that a crit body slam won't take me out here. There is the chance we'll get the paralysis again, but I'm willing to play with God at this point, and I'd like to get as much damage off on this Miltank as possible. For two reasons. One, Miltank's in a nuisance in its own right, and two, I didn't prepare as much for Miltank's like, well, should have apparently, because I wasn't expecting him to bring it. But I do, some get, uh, I do get some good damage off on this Miltank. Hit him with a Moonblast, and I do manage to recover up a lot of health, up to about 80% now. Um, he does go for a Milk Drink here, as expected. I'm pretty sure I just clicked Moonblast again. At this point, I, I want to make sure that I'm doing enough damage to this Miltank. I'm not doing as much as Milk Drink is recovering, because like I said, he is a specially defensive Miltank. Um, so, at this point, I think we both realise this is, we're, we're going to get nowhere. So, he switches out. And in comes his anti- I, I like, I, throughout the game I was like, what are these things? I don't know what they are. Because 
They're all... I don't know. I want to say Digimon names, but I, do, I don't do Digimon, so sorry if I got that wrong. Anyway, I go for the Wish here, and uh, I get very lucky at this point of the battle. Uh, he goes for the Iron Tail. I was expecting Gunk Shot on Infernape, Iron Tail on Manectric. I didn't even realize this thing got Iron Tail. Makes sense that it does, because it has a tail. Um, but I get the Wish. It, it doesn't do anything. I just wanted to scout and see what this thing does. In hindsight, Protect would have been the safer play. I do have Protect. Why I didn't go for it, it amazes me. Um, but I'm going to switch out. Skarmory is my dedicated switch. Um, I say dedicated. I don't have many switches for this thing. Um, he does predict that nicely and go for the knockoff, though. Doesn't do too much. Um, confirmed he's not choice banded, which is fantastic, which means Waterfall will be doing like 35% to me max. Um, that's if he's adamant max attack, so nice, um, nice bit of information to have. Now, he brings in Flygon, which only confirms he either has Flamethrower or Fire Blast. Um, so I am going to make the switch back into Brawljus. I'm at max health. It's the safest switch I have. Uh, plus, Moonblast will kill this thing outright because uh, Flygon doesn't enjoy stab fairy moves hitting it, hitting it super effective. So he does reveal the flamethrower here, and that does like nothing. Bearing in mind I have uh, 24 EVs and Calm Nature, that, that done absolutely nothing. It's non-stabbed, it's not life or boosted, so I guess it doesn't do too much. Here he switches into his uh, Manectric, I believe, which is fantastic because I do get to go for a Moonblast, and Manectric isn't the bulkiest thing in the world, and it does a solid 60 to 70 percent. So I know another Moonblast will kill it, because when it Mega Evolves, uh, when Manectric Mega Evolves, it doesn't recover as much as, uh, or recover, doesn't get that much of a defense boost, rather. So he does Mega Evolve. I'm expecting him to want to go for Volt Switch here to maintain, maintain some momentum. I can't speak today. Um, he gets the Intimidate off, doesn't bother me at all. Reveals the Iron Tail. I was, I was, I knew he was going to carry it on something. Um, but I am defensive, I knew I could live. He gets a defense drop though, which is not fun. Not fun at all. I go for the wish, and at this point, I, it's pretty obvious I'm going to have to click protect because I either have to hope he misses an iron tail or I have to protect. And obviously, I'm going to click protect. He could have switched there if he wanted to, but not much choice. Uh, not much. Well, I guess he can just stay in and click iron tail, really. I don't really have a switch in. I could obviously switch in Skarmory on the iron tail. But then what do I do? Because this thing can just kill me with a Thunderbolt. Um, at this point, Max, based on the damage I took before, I'm pretty confident I can live another Iron Tail. And I do. And at this point, I'm just like, right, I'm just going to click Moonblast because I want this thing dead. Because that makes Skarmory's job a lot easier. Um, and it's also the fastest thing on his team gone, which means Zorok is now the fastest thing around, which is uh, potentially nice. Other than Kelly's priority on his Infernape and his uh, Azumarill. So I'm at minus two defense now. Um, I'm going to click protect and see what he wants to go for here. Scout out as to whether I can switch into something like Latias, uh, Latios safely. Um, knowing the set now, I could have easily switched into Latios here and scared him out. But uh, I decided to let Floor just go. Uh, at the time... Uh, it was, it, I was quite upset, but I didn't really fancy throwing anything else away. I still wanted to keep Zorok for um, for that Togetic. Uh, but this does give me a free switch into my Mega Latios. And at this point, Kelly doesn't appreciate Mega Latios at all. Now, he doesn't know I'm a bulky variant. Uh, Latios does obviously outspeed uh, Infernape naturally, so he's obviously expecting that to happen. And I knew his switch in was going to be this thing. Now... I'm going to Mega Evolve, obviously I'm going to scare that Inferno out of there. Beautiful Mega Evolution now, I love Mega Latio so much, my affection for it is just, oh, Skyrocket Systems have had it, that sounded dodgy, you go for the Psy Shock, this is a critical hit, that, that, oh, that's disgusting, so I'm like, right, I need to, I need to knock this thing off, it, it, it's decided, um, now I know he's probably going to either go for a Body Slam or a Roost, I am just going to switch into Vimto, because if he Roosts, that's fine, he doesn't want to take Electric moves. And he can't paralyze me because I'm an electric type. So Vimto keeps this thing in check very, very well. I am a salt vest as well, so it's not going to be doing too much to me in that respect. Um, I do. What do I do here? I can't even remember. Uh, I think I probably just click Thunderbolt because I know if he brings in his uh, Flygon, I can outspeed and I will kill uh, unless I get the minimalist of rolls with Hyper Voice. So that's nice. Um, two Thunderbolts do kill this thing. Also keeps him under the illusion I might be choice. Um, could be choice Scarf. If I was choice Specs, I would have knocked out in one. 
Now this thing comes in and I'm like, yeah, you're gonna Mach Punch. You, you have no choice really, otherwise I could potentially outspeed you. I only run enough speed to outspeed, um... I only run enough speed to outspeed Flygon. Not this thing, because I knew Mach Punch would kill. I switched into Skarmory here, just so I can try and play around with some Life Orb damage, I think? I, I don't know why I switched into Skarm. Maybe to do some scouting, and now I'm pretty sure he's going to go for the... I wanted to find out what fire move he had, that's what it was. So I bring an Easy Jet, this thing's going to be a nice switch into Infernape. Uh, overheat, so we've seen Overheat, Mac Punch, Gunk Shot. I'm pretty sure Latios is going to be able to take on this thing pretty well. So, he's going to bring in this thing again, and I'm like, right. I have to get rocks up again. Uh, I, I was predicting the switch in at this point. And this was my chance to bring in my Zorok. Now, he knew this was Zorok because of my health. Nino King hasn't actually hit the field yet, and he stays in, and I do knock off. He was fearing the fact I was going to have Sludge Bomb, and I was like, I, I, I was going to run it, but I decided to put Flamethrower over, uh, over it instead uh, last night. And Sludge Bomb didn't matter in the end. It didn't matter I didn't have it. I managed to get the knockoff off, which means that Nido King is just going to run riot through what he has left. Um, I can bring in Skarmory though, I am going to want to get rid of rocks on my side, um, this is the best chance I have, he he can't touch me, he has Body Slam and Dazzling Gleam, this is only attacking moves, we've seen Roost as well, so I'm expecting this last move is probably Defog, uh, I'm going to go for a Defog of my own here, and now I want to get my rocks up, I have no problems with letting Skarmory go here, but I'm pretty sure he's going to predict me to go to Latios with a fire move, and he does go for the Dragon Claw predicting that, and I'm like, nope, three rocks for me, that Dragon Claw does absolutely nothing. And I get my rocks up, which is lovely. Puts the pressure on Togetic and on Infernape. And this thing. If this thing hits rocks, um, it means that Hype Voice is a guaranteed kill. Doesn't rely on a roll. Um, and I let him take me down to a flamethrower. At this point, I am 4-3 down, but I feel like I'm in complete control still. Because I bring in Heliolisk, and he has no switch-ins for Heliolisk at all. He has to let something die uh, just so he can get Infernape in. And I have an Infernape switch-in, which is fantastic. So I get a good roll on Hype Voice. Um... It was like 52 to 62%, and I think he had about 55% health left. He must have. That's all he, mu that's all he could have had based on what I could see on the screen. Um, I'm not going to sing because I know he's going to Mac Punch. So Stealth Rocks, after three lots of Life Orb, he's at about 60 to 55% health. Um, he is going to be forced to go for the Mac Punch again, take some Life Orb damage. And uh, I know he's not going to stay in. I know he's going to want to bring Togetic in. So I'm going to make the... Um, best play in my mind, which is going for Recover. Because it pretty much guarantees that Kelly can't kill me. Um, I'd be able to do damage to Azumarill, I will outspeed it, I am modest, I will do a lot of damage. Uh, this thing's not got its Violite anymore, so Psyshock will do a lot. Dazzling Gleam does do a lot of damage. It'll probably do about 40% to me because I'm max HP. Um, but I am going to bring in Royal Pain. I don't mind if I get paralyzed from a Body Slam, I was expecting a Body Slam, I'd rather have this thing paralyzed. Than Latios. Of course, he gets another one though. That's the third body slam paralysis this game. Um, but he decides to stay in and sack this thing off, which meant Latios had an even easier job. And uh, I'm even with this damage, I still have my Pasho Berry intact, which means I can live an Aqua Jet slash Waterfall from his Azumarill because he's not choice banded. Um, Tokusik just just dies to Poison Jab, um, and in comes Azumarill. Here. I think he predicted my switch into Latios and clicked knockoff. Doesn't matter to me, it reveals I was Pasho Berry. Um, and luckily, luckily for me, I do not get paralyzed. Two turns in a row, I don't get paralyzed. Fantastic. Take down the Zoom Reel. All he has left is Infernape. I still have Nido King, Mega Latios, and Heliolisk. Um, I don't want to play for differential, I just want to play for the win. Uh, getting the points on the board at this point of the season is more important than differential. Um, here he goes with a gunk shot. I don't know if he was predicting a switch. Um, I don't know what into, but I do get paralyzed. I stay in because I don't mind losing this thing. He mac punches. I live on 4 HP. That's stab life orb. And the bulkiness I was running in my Nido King means that I do live it and I'm able to take this thing out with an earthquake. And that is the game. Nora Skitty take the 3 0 win against Kelly and the Baltimore Braviaries. It was a good game, Kelly. I really, really enjoyed it. I was so scared. That was the hardest battle I've had to prep for so far. Um, but it was really good fun. And it's got me really excited. We're two and one after three weeks. This doesn't happen to me. There are players who people regard as better than me who are doing worse than me. 
and I take great satisfaction in that. You know, Frido putting me third in the power rankings uh, after week two, after my performance against Liam. I hope I've justified that, and I think I hope well. I hope I've justified a, uh, a movement up to maybe second. Love you, Frido. And uh, well, if you're watching analysts and recap people, um, I'm here. I've announced myself this season. I think people will have to stop thinking that oh, it's Jack. You know, we can beat Jack. No. No, you can't just beat Jack. We've got two wins this season. Uh, next week we're against the uh, AS Monferno, which is uh, Alex's team, Onesie Bayner. I haven't beaten him in the PPL yet. I think next week it's time for things to change. Make sure you check out all the links in the description below, especially Kelly's. Um, make sure you check out the PPL YouTube channel and Twitter YouTube channel, especially because we've got loads of cool analysts on there now doing videos for us. It's great. There'll be some transfers to look at. There will be some power rankings. There will be some recaps. All of the good stuff. Um, other than that, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this um, video. Make sure you stick around for next week's PPL battle. It will be a great game. Me and Alex always have a good game uh, with each other. So it will be really good. I'm pretty sure I said good too many times. I'm rambling. I'll see you next time. Bye.